So we all know Long Island is in crisis. Addiction has touched every family, every school, and every community. We've lost far too many innocent young souls to this disease. And we've watched our friends and family, desperate to get help, have been failed time and again by a system that doesn't understand their struggle and is only designed for punishment, not support. We stand here today to say that we're done with half measures and empty gestures. That we're ready to fight the disease of addiction by doing everything we can to help people get into long-term recovery. I'm proud to say that we just passed the state budget that will do more to fight addiction and support recovery than any budget in the history of this state. We funded a brand new recovery center for Nassau County that I'm proud to say will be opening in my district very soon. We funded expanded services across Long Island that would help get, get survivors of overdose into treatment centers instead of going back out on the street. We funded a recovery high school to support young people in recovery who are making a decision to choose life and an education free of influences of substances. And we broke down barriers to critical care by expanding access to 28-day rehabilitation programs and reducing of the pocket expenses to access outpatient services. We've done that with hand in hand with our governor and also our Senate leader, Andrea Stewart Cousin. I want to thank them for when this was not in the budget and we brought it to their attention, they realized the importance of this and put it back in the budget. These are critical stage steps to help alleviate this crisis, but I want you to know this is not where the fight ends. My colleagues and I are going to continue to relentlessly pursue legislation to ensure that people can get the help they need so that no one needs to lose another child to this terrible disease. Thank you. <laughs>